Keep an umbrella close by this weekend. Also make some alternate indoor plans just in case. Jeff Hoffender from the UF Weather Center. We've been tracking this active weather pattern for a few days and it is now upon us. And here's a breakdown over the next three days. What will likely transpire? We had a front approach the area Friday. That's what brought us the clouds and the light rain it was more of a nuisance than anything else. It's still nearby on Saturday, so more of the same. Often on showers, lots of cloud cover, maybe a thunderstorm, especially when we heat up a little in the afternoon. And then speaking of heating up, Sunday will be a warmer day because of maybe a little sunshine. Also a stronger south wind, but a stronger storm organizing in the Gulf of Mexico gives us a chance for stronger thunderstorms, especially in the afternoon and evening hours. Some of them could be severe. And I'm going to walk you through that in just a second. The front will finally be moving out on Monday, but there could still be a few lingering downpours in the afternoon hours. OK, on Saturday, I can't rule out a strong or severe thunderstorm, but it's going to be fairly isolated and mainly confined to the east of I-75, closer to where that Atlantic sea breeze may push on shore. We'll keep an eye on that for you. But then a larger, stronger area of thunderstorm activity will We'll organize in the panhandle Saturday night into Sunday morning, and this will spread over much of North Florida Sunday afternoon, Sunday night, an elevated risk for severe weather. Isolated tornado can't be ruled out, wind damage a concern, and even some hail. This is the time of year we get some hail sometimes here in Florida. And we will certainly watch that closely. It moves out on Monday. Now's the time to stay weather aware with us this weekend. I know many of you will be out and about enjoying your holiday. Download the app Florida Storms for customized alerts and 36 hours of future radar. And don't forget to check in with us often at UF Weather, both on Twitter and Facebook. What about rainfall? We could use it, actually. About a half inch in most areas through Sunday morning, but the heaviest of the rain will arrive Sunday afternoon and Sunday night. An additional inch or so bringing our storm totals up close to two inches before it moves out on Monday. Here's a recap of your sixth day. We will start to dry out by Monday and Tuesday of next week. Temperatures will stay pleasant and the humidity will come down by Tuesday. Enjoy your weekend.